It's huge, guys. Check that out. Dude, it's a huge one. You guys ready for this? Huge what? It's brassy. All right, here we go. We're a new adventure. Well, actually, yeah, it is a new adventure. We're still, uh, this is a continuation of the kayaking video as Mike and I from Great Finds were walking back up river because there was a tornado or something came through yesterday and the river is blocked. <laughs> and um, that was a video probably posted last night. I'll put a link somewhere maybe in the video description if you want to see it. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm tired. We've been hiking for a while coming back up toward, uh, toward the vehicle. And we're basically having to walk through this stuff. You can see the trees are down everywhere. It's not so bad up in this section. Uh, but we're going to work our way up uh, up river. When we get to a decent looking spot, we're going to start detecting. I'm but there's a bottle dump somewhere here too. Yeah, I want to show you something. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I was here. I, I uh, dumped some water out of my boat and I, was, I looked in the water. Oh, nice. No metal detector required for that. Oh, dude! <laughs> <It's> plastic. <laughs> did it fool you when you see? Well, I did. I thought it was a real. I thought it, it was a real like I didn't pick it up until you got up dude, here. Dude, it has like a green patina. What is that for? <laughs> Just it was maybe probably on... a kids' toy. You know, kids. Did they you know, put these on modern horses? No, too? Back, no aluminum. These aluminum. Or uh, for you guys uh, in the UK, uh, uh, al yeah, al 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 uh, <laughs> I can dude, That's say funny, it. man. You, you pronounce that? aluminum you funny that? though. Uh, no, I don't want it. Uh, Actually, you can have it. I know. All right, I'll just throw it in a boat. Yeah. Since we have the boat, we'll just clean bring it back. Clean ah, it's a little spring here. I'm looking up in there. It looks like a cave. Ooh. I don't know if we can get up in there, though. Well, I'll go to the briar. Let me get on this one. Is that going on? Oh, dude, that looks like a cave. Yeah, I think over here might be the easiest. I don't, I don't want to go through the briars. It's really hard to go through. You know, when you have shorts on, going through briars really is not fun. We're not too far from where we want to go to start detecting, so. Uh, there's a spring here, Mike. You see it? Yeah, you can fill the water. Can you wait? Are you going to wait here or I'll you got more than you? I'll okay. just pull it up for a second. Yeah, all right. So, oh, oh my gosh, it's good. kind of a mess here, too. I'll get it. Here. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is avoid uh, the briars. I don't see briars this way. Man, this is like the stuff. Yeah, this is pretty horrible. <laughs> These are the briars I was trying to avoid coming that long way. Multi four rows. Something acting huh? like it's injured. What? Listen. You hear that? Yeah. Is it by you? No. But I think it was pretending like it's dead, like hurt, like that one birds do. Well, it could be actually. It could be something hurt after the storm. It could be babies. There's pipe in there. That's weird. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My legs are going to be a mess. See those uh, thorns? That's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, multi floor root invasive species too. Alright. Wow, it is a cave, dude. Is it? Wait. Can you see the opening? Yeah. Wait. Got some new raccoons in here. Well, I'll tell you. Um, I don't, yeah, we don't have flashlights. I'm not going to get my uh, camera, but if you look up in there, it keeps going. Oh, <laughs> Alright, let's get back to digging. <sighs> Okay. All right. Let's see how the heck we're gonna get out of this mess. I mean, look thing. at this stuff we're in. This is like a jungle in here, yeah. man. <sighs> Never leave the boat. Flathead catfish. It looks like one. It's it's like, a great big open like, mouth. Like if you're coming over here and you wanna, you know, grab him like that. Yeah, it does look like a big flathead. Hey, <laughs> you check this. What does that look like? You ever seen them people that catch them with their hands yeah. and stuff? The yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, that is. I mean, that's just a rock. Look, it's got skull. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get to the metal detecting part of this video. Um, we're not too far from the boat ramp, so we're just gonna kind of work our way up back to the back there and metal detect along the way. Mike's already doing this thing. Has some tiger lilies along the bank here, so we think this might be a good area uh, just to work our. Well, we'll see. So this is my first target, uh, just out of the boat, and it's a giant spike, and that tells me it's probably going to be a mill dam uh here or just up river so we came over the top of it so that's definitely what that is so this is going to be a good area to look i'm really excited about it <laughs> yeah, i wish the water is clear so we could see but uh, we'll see where their ears today that's a beautiful spike right there and that's probably mid 1700s to probably mid 1800s all right so we're still working our way along the bank 
Mike just got started down there. And this is my first um, keeper of the day, really. I've been finding mostly cans and stuff, but that is a probably fired musket ball. A round ball, I would think. So that's a pretty good sign. At least I'm on the board and <laughs> not drowned under those snags back there. That's a good thing. I can't believe how windy it is. I hope it's not going to mess up the audio too bad. I think we'll go ahead and dig this together. I don't have high hopes. I mean, it's a good signal. But I found so much... Uh, well, not a whole lot, but I found some aluminum cans and stuff in here. Let's give it a good fan. And if it's aluminum can on the surface, like most of them have been so far, it should have moved. And we'll see if it's moved. Well, it's just the top to a can. And uh, what happens, I've found a lot of times that these things will get tucked in under those big rocks like that. Uh, I guess probably when it's flooded, something happens with the, uh, you know, the liquefaction of the sand and the rocks down there. And these have a tendency to work under the big rocks. Uh, it took me a while to find it because it kept floating around. If water had been clear, I could just pick it right up. But that's not a great find. Great find. <laughs> I had a really nice high squeaker here. And I dug and dug and dug and dug and dug. I figured it was a can, but... It's something a little bit different than a can, although I don't know exactly for sure. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, boy, that must be like a top to a pot or something. It's weird metal, though. I don't. I, I think it's pewter, actually. But it's got a little design on top. I guess that's to pick it up with your fingers, I would assume. So, yeah, I don't know what that is, what it goes to. Mike might, because he's more into this kind of stuff than I am. And, um... Yeah, I think it's pretty old though. I don't think that's a new one. It's older than me anyway. At least I hope. <laughs> After I fell in that little pewter ding dong, I filled the hole in. I got a nice little squeaker here. I think it's pretty small, so it might be coin size. So we'll go ahead and dig that. I think Mike's digging stuff down there. I hear him talking and doing a video, and he hasn't really moved much. Hopefully, he's finding some stuff too. All right, I'll let you know what this is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all it was. Yeah, which uh, certainly is not a can. Oh, can. <laughs> yeah, coin like object. Let's double check the hole. I gotta get coins out of my head. Yeah, that's all that was. Shoot. Limbs are falling out of the trees around us. Really freaking windy. Now, I found this thing. I was wondering if you'd tell me about. <laughs> uh, actually, in the center of that, there was a, a little thing you, you could hold on to to pick it up. It fell out, apparently. So I don't know if you uh, might know the age cool of that. That's a cool dude. That's... It looks like pewter. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's probably pre-Civil War. Oh, sweet. I would think, being yeah, pewter. Yeah. I, I, that could be colonial. No By that design, it has a colonial look to it. Yeah. Um, during the Civil War, they went. a lot of them went to wood finials. You know, like on the coffee pots and stuff. Oh, yeah. Wood finial. So that's a little earlier. I just spent like 15 minutes digging a nice signal right there. <laughs> And it is a little jar. Heinz screw on cap. So, don't know what was in it. Mm, maybe baby food. A little bit of pottery right there. Didn't even see that. Oh, yeah, that's an older piece. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's an old brick right there, though. So, we might be onto something. Just wish there wasn't so much of this uh, junk like this in here, though. Mike started screaming. He said, Jig! You wouldn't believe it, oh my god! He's going nuts! I hear you going nuts! Let's see what he finds. That's about where I found that pewter uh, lid, too. Pretty close to it. I've never found one this big before. It's huge, guys. Check that out. You know what that is already? Massive! I have no idea what it is. Dude, anymore. it's a huge one. You guys ready for this? Huge what? It's brassy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Something your wife's oh, gonna like. I know what it is. Oh, check Ooh. that out! Oh my god! It's broken, but man, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's like big old cradle bell. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen one that big. No, it's like a base massive. We're a dinosaur. Dude, sorry, I got so excited. Oh, that's no, that's freaking really awesome, cool. man. <laughs> Check that out, guys. That's this would awesome. have been on a. Oh, it's got the petals on it. See the flower petals yeah. starting to come through? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. I was good. I'm jealous. But, yeah, that's, that's awesome. I love finding these, man. Yeah. 
His, his wife loves these things, by the way. They call them curta bells. Now, can you explain why? People say no, they're called sleigh bells. I had one guy argue, why are you, why are you calling the curta bell? I said, because that's what I've always called them. Well, what? they were used on sleighs. Yeah. I have one at home where there's, there's there'll be like a line of them, yeah, all different I've seen sizes. That in your, yeah, I have one at home. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, used on livestock, but they also used them on animals. They'd put them on animals so that when they're walking, they'd make noise. The... And they would do that for when they're on the roads, like at night and stuff. So yeah. You get horses or the cows coming, Dude. or just out in the field so you know where the animals were. Okay. Uh, or the lead animal. A lot of times they'll put something like that on the lead animal. One that was like the boss of the herd. Yeah. So everyone else, all the other okay. animals could find Thanks them. Thanks for explaining that because yeah. people say they're not cradle, they're slay. I said, well, I think there's this difference. I think it's the way it's... Because if you ever found like an actual sleigh bell, sometimes they're connected. Like the one you found with me and you didn't know if it was old. And it was, remember you found it in the field. And you thought it might be... It, it was like a uh, tomback material. Mm -hmm. That's a sleigh bell. This is... They call these curdle belts, but I don't understand why. You know? I'm not sure so. if there's actually a difference, but yeah. I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know yeah, somewhere cool, in the video comments. <laughs> <I'm> not, uh, <laughs> well, I just had a limb crash down on the back of my neck when I was bending over digging, so it wasn't a very, very big one, but it definitely <laughs> gave me a little scare. Better be careful. Well, there's nothing you can really do except get out of the woods, huh? Maybe later. Well, I finally found another relic of sorts. This is the um, reed or inside, one of the reeds or inside of a harmonica. Check the hole, see if there's any more of it in there. Not hearing any, so it probably broke up somewhere else. Not right here. A little bit of a squeak there, I'll dig that too, but uh, yeah, just digging mostly cans, but I did want to show that to you before I move along. For a giant crack. I guess it's that tree right there or something broke but didn't fall yet. I think we are best be moving along. <laughs> We're walking back upstream uh, looking for some more spots. This isn't very good right here. Lots of big cobbles and, and it just doesn't look too hot. But there's some other spots up here we saw that I think will be pretty good. So we'll, uh, we'll go detecting once we get up there a little further. A giant black snake there, look. So I just found this little uh, bullet. Looks dropped. Uh, you can see the mold seam going all the way around it. I'm gonna guess it's kind of a modern one. Uh, I don't know why it would be way out here in the middle of the river uh, not be fired. I mean, it's like somebody would have been walking around out here with these in their pocket and dropped it. <laughs> That's kind of weird, isn't it? There's actually a Civil War bullet that looks very, very similar to this. That's, that just doesn't look old to me, but I'm going to look around here a little bit more just in case. Now, just a few feet from where I found that bullet, and I just dug this piece of iron. This looks like it's hand forged to me. I mean, it looks quite old. It's some type of, um, you know, we're near that mill area, so it could be part of that operation, but some type of handle you pulled or turned or something. Uh, yeah, it looks really old to me though, so that's a good sign. <laughs> so was a good sign. Anything, anytime I find anything, I say that, don't I? <laughs> but it is. This is a strange one. Oh, it's got writing on it, I think. That's a Japan. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what it is. It feels almost like lead or pewter, but I think I'm pretty sure it says Japan, so that's going to be, if it does, it's post World War II. Huh. A nice little nice little ring to it man i popped this thing out of the water and it's like <laughs> that gold color i'm like oh my god uh but it's just a tube of um cream of some sort probably not terribly old <laughs> got my heart going pitter pat for just a minute that's kind of neat it's i think it's uh looks like a pewter some type of spout or something i don't know but it looks like it might be solid right there or maybe that's just a little cap on the inside same general area and i just found this which looks like a musket ball that's either malformed or has been fired probably pre-civil war era uh fine so i found another one of these iron doodads and you know what i got to thinking there is a modern bridge not too far upstream so this might be more modern than i was thinking it thinking it might be might be part of the bridge that bridge construction uh, I don't know so we find a lot of these things when we're metal detecting 
you know, it has that disc there and a little stem. And what this actually is, is a valve stem to a tractor tire or a tire of some sort uh, where you fill it, you know, fill it full of air. And it actually has some of the tire still on, on there maybe, or maybe that's just a little bracy thing. But yeah, you'll find these if you're a metal detectorist. You've probably already found these before. And if you, if you haven't found any, you probably will. If you have some good luck like the Chig. All right, we're almost back to the boat ramp, and uh, I've got a nice old signal here. I would dig it together. I haven't dug much in a while. <laughs> Here's the iron. I can hear lots of iron. I can't find it. Yeah, okay, right? And it's actually not reading as high as I was hoping. I'm going to read. Can't really put you under, though. Well, I guess I could, but you wouldn't see anything. Go ahead and fan it. Right into here. <laughs> back to try, kind of grab it with a all righty it's a winner we have um, that's actually it's called a spinner uh, for fishing the hook is rotted off the end of it but that's a little metal blade on there that's what we heard oh well we'll keep that a little bit longer well just found half a horseshoe that's a good sign for a ford a treasure i think can you guys well, see, see that it. So we'll let him pull it out and see what he thinks right. it is. Whip it out? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. It might just be a What's modern. Silver? Uh, I'd say it's a half penny. Or like a farthing or something. Probably. Half cent, maybe? Yeah, like a half cent or a farthing. You don't think it's or a coin or a button? No, nah, no, nah, it's a coin. Cool. Cool. That's awesome, man. Pass that log gear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Very Keep cool. I'm probably going to be so wore down I won't get much off of it like the it other one. It looks like there might be a little bit on Let there. So you might be able to figure out, out what it is at least. Cool, guys. Most Let's awesome. Going. That's kind of a strange little beast right there. I almost recognize what that might be, but not quite. It's uh, made out of iron. Boy, I just I just can't quite figure that out. But that was down on the hard pan. So I think it's a pretty old, old piece, but it eludes me. All right, guys, we're going to head on out of here. Sorry about that wind, but it uh, hopefully it won't make a try to hide the camera it feels over like here. More late August. It does. It feels very kind of chilly, but it was a big front that came it's through. It's coming again. The warm weather's um, coming. So again. we couldn't get all the way down the river because of those trees. Actually, that was a, that was just last night's video. Yeah. We were trying to go through anyway. You saw that last night, but anyway, we we'll, kind of come together. Eventually. We'll we'll try to do that uh, next, probably next year. We're gonna have to get some floods to Don't clear this river out. Cave too. We might try to see cave. We'll come back yeah. for the cave. Yeah, yeah. found some pretty good finds. Mike's gonna send me some pictures of his finds. Yeah. I got a bag, bag full, full of mostly stuff, junk. Man. So, <laughs> but I'll show you that too a little bit later. All right. See you guys hope, on the next. Oh, one. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand And keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big.